All right, what's up guys? This is Decubing Jedi. And now that you've watched those solves, I'm back with some of my thoughts on the two cubes. So let's talk about feeling first. So the XS is feeling, it's very, it's a lot more squishy than the 11M Pro and it's a lot, it's a lot more easier to move. Like the 11M Pro is a lot more sturdy. It's a lot more sturdy, it's lighter too by four grams. And this one has a more, tactile feeling like there's little bumps in between each turn so when you're turning when you're turning fast it's a very interesting solving experience and the 11m pro it, it doesn't really sound soft but it is very very soft so it's very soft it's very glidey and effortless to turn which i like so performance what times do i get on the two cubes i get my globals are low to sub six with the 11 and mid to low six with the XS. And I think partly why I get better times with the 11 is because of the primary internals. And I would suggest having your lighting, if you get this, I would suggest having your lighting from in front of you because the lighting like goes through the, the divots, the pockets inside of the thing and then the light shines through and it shines the color of the face that you're looking at through it. So the, the holes are pretty much invisible and then you can just see the color, which is super easy to look at. And the XS, yeah, it just has the black holes in the middle, which inhibit my look ahead for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure most other people wouldn't have that problem, just, just for me. That's a slight issue. Um, corner cutting, XS over 45. A little over 45 and then the 11 m pro it's a little harder to do it so 45 i would say is the limit on reasonable reasonable tensions both of these are at the same tensions which i will talk about after i talk about catching problems so catching problems i rarely have any catches but if i do have any catches it would be on the 11 m pro and I think the reason why is because the pieces just feel sharper. I don't know if that's just because the cube is lighter and it's just, I'm just hypnotizing myself. But if you feel this part of the corner, like the top of the corner right here, if you just run your finger over it, it feels more rounded out than the 11. And I think that's the reason why, because I don't know, just the pieces rub against each other and they might catch. But that's rarely a problem because I only get it ever so often. So yeah, as I said, I will talk about tensioning now. So both of these cubes have the same tensioning mechanism with the dual adjustment system. And if you're asking what my settings are, I have three on light blue. So you push, you push this down and then you rotate it and then you put it to three. If you, if you peer at it like this, you can, you can see that there's numbers on it. So I have it at three and I have it on four clicks. You click it with this thing and that applies to the XS too. And the XS has more corner cutting because I think it's more flexy and the 11 has less because it's more stable, which is not a problem. So lastly, let's talk about magnets, which is the main innovation here. So if you look at the XS, it has a adjustable magnet system, just like the 11M Pro, but it's an adjustable corner to edge magnet system where you can move it, you can move it up and down. And the further you move it up, the weaker the magnet and the further you move it down, the stronger. And then the medium magnets are right in between. So the way this works is if my fingers are this, this is the edge, this is the corner. Um, the weak magnets are here. So you see, it's not even in, like on the magnet. And the medium magnets are half on, half off, and then the strong magnets are right on the piece. So that's the strong, there's the strongest connection of the two magnets at the strongest points on the edge. So let's talk about the 11M Pro's mechanism. So you can see here, at the dark spots on the two pieces, these have corner and edge magnets too, but the special part about it is, additionally with those, it has a um, corner to core magnet system. So 
you see there's a magnet right here the screwdriver sticks it but then you move this and then as you move this the top part the magnet moves too and the further you move it right the stronger the magnet is and how you can tell is the further you move it right the um more upwards the magnet gets pushed and more upwards it gets pushed the closer it becomes to the core and the closer it becomes to the core the stronger the magnet so that's how you can tell and what i've noticed is um, if you drop if you drop this cube i would suggest taking a look at all the magnets you just have to look at two sides just look just look at the sides like this and then look at the sides like this because i've noticed when i drop this cube on the floor the magnets adjust and you have to readjust them back to your preferred settings so that's just a tip that i have yeah so that's how the magnets work it's a corner to edge and corner to core magnet system so final thoughts which one should you get if you have less accurate turning or you have not done big cubes you should get the excess and the reason why is because big cubes require very accurate turning and doing big cubes would help you develop a sense of accurate turning but if you haven't the seven by seven um the excess is good because it's more forgivable to inaccurate turning but if you if you do big cubes like me or if you have very accurate turning I'm not very like fairly like acceptably accurate turning i would recommend you the 11m pro because you would be able to control this more sturdy cube more stable cube which one will i be meaning sorry my chair but i will be meaning the 11m pro because i get better times on it and i just like the feeling more it's just it's very glidey and soft whereas the excess is more crunchy and tactile if you already have the excess would you want to buy the 11m pro i would say yes and the reason why is because this is a very unique feeling cube and if you liked the xs you would definitely like the 11m pro i would suggest getting the primary internals one because it just makes recognition easier and it kind of defeats the point of the easier recognition if you just get the same the same version and yeah it's a lot softer a lot faster and i get better times on it and i think you might too so thank you to trybox for the continued support over the years and thank you gankyu for the new new support this is the cubing jedi bye